Hi, my name is Josie. Thank you very much for tuning back. I'm um, doing this video in regards to a, uh, a commercial that H&M clothing manufacturer from Europe uh, came up with and uh, it also has to do with uh, the, uh, a Christian association that is called One Million Moms and uh, and this particular um, this particular commercial, uh, their main uproar was not the fact that at the end there's like two girls like they jump into the water and they kiss each other, but the fact that there was a, a so-called man in a dress, and uh, while well, she's going in an elevator and she's just checking herself out, you know, so she has a dress, really cute dress, and she's just looking at her and just like, all right, great. But uh happens to be that that man in a dress is actually a cisgender woman, meaning she was born a female and she identifies herself as a female. <laughs> so, oops. Um, well, I mean, I, it was kind of hard to tell. I mean, it kind of looked like a man in a dress. Like, no, you bigots. You actually are so judgmental that you are not able to actually exist within your mind. It's like, what does a woman make a woman? Is the hourglass figure? So fat girls and skinny girls are not women? Or is it because they don't have the sexual organs? Okay, uh, underdeveloped uh, women that actually uh, had some medical issues, then that doesn't mean that they're not women or the uh, women that have had a uh, hysectomy just because there was cancer in all that kind of stuff. Does that make them less of women? Is it the size of the breasts? Apparently not. Um, is it the muscles? You like to work out and that's what you do for a living? Well, I've seen women with a lot of with breasts and they do a lot of exercise. Well, those women actually wear implants. They actually have done implants. It's technically impossible to do a lot of a lot of exercise and still have a lot of a lot of breast tissue unless you have hypermastia, which to begin with you have to be like extremely huge at but at any given point anyways. So femininity actually starts from the inside. And being a woman is actually even more complex than that. So uh, here, and this is, uh, this is from their website, from One Million Moms website. It says, our goal is to stop the exploitation of our children, especially by the entertainment media. TV, music, movies, etc. Mom, one million moms.com is the most powerful tool you have to stand against the immorality, violence, vulgarity, and profanity the entertainment media is throwing at your children. It is time to fight back. Well, my mother said it very well one day. The best education you can have starts at home. And uh, if your children are being deviated, you better start looking at yourself first. Not what everybody else is doing, but what you are doing. Oh, you don't want to be the one to blame for? Because you are a perfect parent? Nobody's perfect. And deviations are gonna, they're gonna occur. We are dealing with people. You want everybody to conform to your own bubble? That's where your madness comes from. Stop doing it. I will deal more on the issues, but uh, I'm trying to keep this short. 
the education that you give to your children it starts at home. Teach them about everything and how to do critical thinking. Because if you leave that to your educational system, that's why we have so much misinformed people. Because you're not able to analyze argument by argument. It's time to fight back. I think that it's time to be a parent.